Right. Hey guys, it's Dan from IT Entertainment, and we're here to play some more Crash Bandicoot. And we last left off, we defeated Koala Kong, and also... I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. It's literally been about a month since, uh, since I last, I last recorded this anyway. But let's put it this way: between these parts, I've I in fact actually played these missions quite a bit. Obviously, not enough, but I've played the uh, these levels enough times and I've in fact actually got quite far and I tried to record them and unfortunately I experienced a bit of a power cut so don't actually know why but there you go so but no oh Yes. Nonetheless, nonetheless, I've I'm persevering. Now, I'm fully now. The reason I'm what I'm going to be doing today, as you may notice me in the next couple of episodes with the same T-shirt on. The reason for that is because I'm in fact going to be doing the rest of this game. I'm in fact going to beat the rest of the game today. And get it to you guys. So I have, I have one game, com another game completed. Because between God of War not working and Dark Cloud being an incredibly long game, I want, I wanted something to be completed. And I, I ideally want God of War to be done as well by November the thirteenth. Now, if you're a person living in the UK, you may know what game I'm ref what game I'm looking forward to. It's a sequel to a game I've currently played already, like I've done, like with God of War 2, but this game is a bit more recent enough that it's uh, that it's a very good game that I enjoyed quite a lot, and I actually had problems with it when I first uh, when I had it. There's also around about the sort of time I actually. Fuck. Um, around the sort of time I, in fact, changed my my uh, my recording equipment. Ah, oh, I can't jump on those things, can I? Let's try that. I I, don't, I can't remember. No, nope, you can't. You just can't touch them. You just can't touch them. if I can try and jump over this thing. Nope. My lord, that is going to be difficult to do. I don't know well, I got by it last time. So. Right, so. Jump, jump, jump. Spin. Get the... Last thing I'm doing is getting killed by some... There we go. Right, but yes. In between the hearts, obviously, I've been playing Dark Cloud, and that's been a real fun game. That has been definitely loving that game again. I love just 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 doing a bit of voice acting was quite fun actually. Yeah, I'm not I'm not at this point. I'm not doing gems. I got. I'm just trying to get as much because many lives possible because I know what comes next I know the next two levels are going to be the worst levels I've experienced for a while or at least I believe in the next two levels it could be the next in the next couple of levels after this but There we go. Oh, okay. Well, I just straight up wasted one. Why not?
Okay. Let's keep hopping along. Ooh. Oh no, I missed one again. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. Let's... Apologies to everyone that feels a bit motion sick when they're watching stuff like this. So I tell you now, I would feel motion sick if this was the case. If it wasn't me playing this, I don't know, I, I probably would feel a little bit woozy. Boom. Right. Let me up. Thank you. Right. That's nice and easy. Oh, well, I missed the letter boxes. I think I killed Crash. Um. But yeah. So. I'm going to beat this game day and we're gonna make sure that we get there with enough lives I think I've got enough granted I haven't got past at this point myself I haven't got past the slippery uh, the slippery road so after that point the world's the world's an oyster I have no clue what I'm doing at least for this one, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the best places, the ones that are nice, quick, and easy. They don't require a lot. And as you can see, they give me. Oh, oh well, that was a class. Oh, wasn't it, Dan? Get that life. Hop over here, get the other life. Ooh. That was close. Right, one more. Okay. Oh. Hop. Hop. Spin. Or just get hit by it. Right. Okay, there we go. Done. Nice and easy. Great, but you missed all these lovely boxes. Ooh, just do his back in. Um, yeah, so the Evil Within's coming out soon. I'm looking forward to getting that. And in all honesty, I hate to make excuses for the fact that I haven't done any recording or any sort of editing and uploading for you guys, but at this point, with my current job at the moment, I'm I'm required to take a lot of time to basically I've, a lot of stuff rides on me essentially enough that it takes takes quite a mental toll on me and enough quite a heavy strain on me as a result I don't typically want to be doing I don't want to be doing recording I don't like to see YouTubers that have got well I don't want YouTubers to see, I don't have to see YouTubers who don't look like they're really not into what they're doing but seem somewhat distant because them either the mines elsewhere or they're um, or they're just not there whatsoever like at some points during um, during my day it, it would get quite difficult I, I would it would be very I, I feel physically and mentally exhausted after every day granted what your job's meant to do. It's meant to make you feel exhausted. It's the idea. But but when you 
when you want to do what I want to do. We want to do what I want to do and and try and succeed in it as well. You have both your current job and then your this, your hobby, and not being able to to do any of your hobby. It kind of just feels like you can't. You're not getting much enjoyment from your day, uh, from just in general. Luckily enough. If it wasn't for Rosie, I would probably, I probably would have done a lot less of my time. Would have been spent more focused on playing games for myself. It wouldn't be for you guys. See her, watch my videos, and and laugh and just laugh. And people that I've obviously not recommended to, because I'm not one for recommending myself. Surprisingly. Um Oh for God's sake, I didn't I didn't even see him there. But it but they've like come back and said like oh yeah you you're funny, yeah Cameron your friend Cameron's funny and things like that. And yeah that that's maybe it's, it's made me happy. It 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 does give you some somewhat joy to know that some people actually do find your find you somewhat entertaining. Cause that was one of my main worries when I first started this was if people are going to find me and stay in the other is this just going to be a thing where I kind of just do it on the side and I have to do something else to and that was silly that was very silly of myself and my shoes fell off the side of the uh, floor then um, but Hear people say that, um, that I come across as quite entertaining made me somewhat happy. Right, there you go. That's how you do it. I don't know why I'm even bothering anyway because this has the this has the you can't you can't die gem. You have to beat the whole game without dying. Or be the whole level without dying anyway. So it does make me wonder why I'm even bothering going out my way to go out of my way to do that. But no, but back from serious conversations. I do enjoy what I I do enjoy this and I'm trying and October where I am is currently is at the moment one of the busiest months of the year. So, to have to have one of the games that I was so excited to play come out in October as well, and because I wanted to a, a, a just a, a let's play for you guys, it was kind of oh my god! I keep getting hurt by these stupid things. Right. I have to. I feel like I'm gonna have to take time off work to play that game. You know what? Enough about soppy conversations and things like that. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna beat this level. We're gonna beat it right now. No messing around. Oh my god. Come on. There we go. As soon as it starts pushing me, I think I should jump at that point. There we go. Regain the so-called lives that I, I lost. I missed three boxes, which I believe are the TNT boxes. Only reason for that? I wasn't going to get the gem. You can't die on that and get the, not get the gem. So I decided, nah. Why not? Well, I'm not going to bother with it. So 
What other missions we got? Oh, toxic waste. See what I mean? Look, there's two missions right next to each other. Generate a room and toxic waste that have one well, of the colour gems. They're so far in the game. It's about two thirds, I think, through the game. <laughs> Little do I know. It's not it's not like the It's not like um It's not like Crash Bandicoot 3 and, well, 2 and 3, where it's, where you end up getting, yeah, where you end up getting just crystals and there's always like, there's only 25 levels minus the boss levels, which makes it kind of technically 20, th th makes it technically 30 levels. There we go. Right, come on. I'm waiting for those jumping ones. People that have played this game will definitely know what I'm referring to. Come on. Where are ya? Here they come. Nah, fuck you. It's when he gets to a full like jumping ones, you end up straight up running and jumping constantly trying to figure out which pattern it goes. Okay. Done them all. Right. Oh. At least with here, if I die here. It'll be okay. I'd rather not because I have. Yay, I got them all. Got all the boxes. That's a good thing about TNT and nitros. If you if if it destroys the box. Oh come on, I've got I've just gotta la I've just gotta last it out. Thank you. Perfect. I got the gem out of that. I got the purple gem. So, that's always good. Nice bit of water. Alright, oh, so we're against Pinstripe Potoru. I think it's the kangaroo. Surprisingly, I never actually knew of Pinstripe until I played Crash Team Racing. I honestly thought it was a complete psycho because he was a mob boss. Ah, oh, right. I know exactly how to beat him. Just gotta keep, you know, wait for him to come around, hit him, hide here, wait for him to keep firing. Gets angry, spin him again. Wait for him to fire again. This you take out half his health from just doing these silly spins and then he realises he's not going to do his job well so he jumps up there and then jumps back down and then he gets angry with his gun you spin at him, hide behind here oh yeah, okay and then he gets angry with his gun again you spin at him you hide behind the, hide behind the thing again Sangaroo is going again. You spin him. Oh yeah, one shot. Perfect. I don't know what's with Cortex and his like goatee when he's on there. When he's on that art picture, it's kind of odd. It just kind of look too hairy. The high road. This is where it's going to get difficult quite quickly. <laughs> oh, 
Cole jumped to bounce higher off the of flip turtles, well After annoyingly I've just started playing Crash Bandicoot 2, so I'm so used to pressing circle to do the crouch thing. Funny, after you jump them, jump the pigs, they don't bother you after that point. So as long as you make sure you jump them, you'll be fine. Oh! What makes it worse is sometimes you can kind of partially recover from it and it just... Right, we're going to do this. I remember the last time I played this, it got me so annoyed. I think I lost about 40 lives. I got so infuriated. And that happened quite a lot. I don't want to cheat. I, I, I refuse to cheat like I did last time. But if I keep dying like this, I'm never gonna get past the first. So I'm never gonna get past this first checkpoint at this point. Oh, that's just like the way to insult you. That it gives you that mask. It's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. I really can't help you though. All I can do is pl block you against a pig, I guess. It does require like the utmost precision. See what I mean? That's practically impossible without cheating. You have to surely use the ropes at that point. Ah! Oh. Thank you. Like so. And even then, I can't get past this bit. It's just, oh, oh, please. I think that's what gets you more annoyed. You don't take your time and you try and rush it because you get annoyed because you're getting stuck at the same spot. And eventually, you just lose your, lose your rag with it all. That's what I found, anyway. Now this... That called for a life then. Oh god, come on. Come back. Come on. And somehow I missed it. Ooh. Never usually get this angry when playing games, ever. Ah. Uh. Oh, you just. You literally gotta wait for it to get to right on the edge, and then even then, it's just like. How does that even work? <laughs> then, you. I don't know how that one works. That one is the worst one of them all. At least the other ones are all automatically flipped over when you get further on into the. Ooh! That's it. I was going to say, that's it, rope time, but I seem to have... Right, 
Right. I'm not going to even deny that that was a silly thing I just did. But, oh well. Right. You can sod off, piggy. Ah! I can't... Just make me want to gouge my eyes out with a uh, rusty spork, but come on. Who? Yes, yes. Come on. No, I just had a light jump. I didn't do a heavy jump. And I just didn't... Right. Okay. Oh. 20 lives lost. And I just keep missing those jumps. Keep going between the small, minute gaps... Yes. Yes. Thank you. Come on, pop back up. Thank you. Right, here we go again. Yes. Uh. Okay, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this bonus level just because it gives me an extra checkpoint. I'm gonna get down to the bottom of this area because because I get. You get more apples, uh, more womp fruit, and as a result, it gives me more extra life. Unlike the others. Did not anticipate doing this. Uh. Uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, well, that was close. Yeah, yeah, what about the boxes? What about them? Yeah, don't look that so dumb, Crash, because you already lost a few brain cells already. <laughs> and now the next service, now the next one, slippery climb. I say give that kind of air uh, kind of look. I have to admit, if it after this one, I will be calling it. Because I know for a fact I'll die a lot on this one. Because this one also gave me and infuriated me is the word I'd use. Oh, right. I think I was also angry from the previous one, from the previous level. Right. And then you have to use the birds to your advantage because you have to jump so high off them, it's ridiculous. I am calling it quite closely here. Right. Oh. 
Ooh, that was close. Very close. Alright. Jumping off birds. Never thought I'd be doing that in a million years. Give myself time. I did not time it well. Now you're going to do that bit all over again. This this level's, un this level's unforgiving. About as unforgiving as the... Uh, very, it's such an unforgiving as the high road. But I wouldn't say it's as hard as the high road, and that's only because with this, at least you only got to go left and right. With the high road, you had to go forward, and only forward. But forward was probably the worst, worst thing for Crash Bandicoot. You should always either go side to side, if he's doing major platforming. That was a massacre. It was the high road. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure it emotionally scarred many of us in our lives, but and I'm sure you've seen multiple videos of people saying fuck the high road, which I pers I pers I completely agree on. But I would definitely say that this is a top contender. Oh, okay, just stand. Take your time. Out it comes. Oh, what? That is ridiculous. I've got to do it all over again. Just. I don't understand. It just sometimes you just think. Am I doing it right? And yeah, you usually are. It's just down to the fact that it's such piss poor timing. Timing skills have to be like... You have to be like, as if you're in, you're waiting, you have to be a train conductor in Switzerland. You're literally, you've got to be on time. You've got to be on the dot with these games. And if you don't... If you don't get that kind of precision straight away, you're out. You just you lose your lives. And then you... Go straight out of that, out of the game. And I have to admit, after the power cut I suffered on, I think it was last week when I was recording uh, the, the second, the second time, I, I was quite willing to pack in a towel at that point, just to call it and go right. I, th I think I think I've I think I've had my time. Oh oh, do this all over again. Seriously, can they not just give me a sodding checkpoint already? I swear, sometimes this thing gives you like a checkpoint as like a kind of oh I'm so sorry type thing. No. Nope. Oh, inside here they'll give you a checkpoint. It's really ridiculous. Sometimes it makes like no sense because you, you think, hang on, I didn't see a checkpoint there prior. Like, I think there was one here at some point. Oh, what happened there? Yes, this will definitely be the last level for today. Ooh. For this, for this episode, anyway. Oh, you're also going to see me carry on the rage from this, from these, next, from the past two levels, onto this one. <laughs> ah. Right. Come on. I 
I keep pulling that a bit too close there. Perfect. No. Nope. One, two, one, two. Oh, that was close. Very close. Come on. Right, there's a checkpoint just there. Just gotta get to it. Oh, thank God for that. Right. These things are a pain in the backside as well. Especially when you miss. And the music doesn't help, I don't think. Right. Oh, I saw your little plan there, stairwell. We've got to really buckle down on these things because they are so ridiculous. Thank you. Ah. Oh, could I? I could potentially do this. Why not? I might as well. Give me a checkpoint if I do it. Or just don't do it, Dan. You need to do it. That's the case. You need to do it in order to succeed right right okay I can I can I see what I need to do I see what I need to do with it Trust me, if there's any way I can actually get over get over that TNT without exploding it, it would be fantastic, because it means that... Or oh, just fall and miss altogether. I do love how the, mi how the mission instantly thinks, and then the bonus is like, yep, loading, because we instantly forget that you've... Oh, I hopped over that then, like a bit of skill, and then realised that I'd completely missed it altogether. No! I was so close. So close to doing it. Right, I will do this one, and we will, we will get that closure, even if it doesn't matter at this point, because I need to break every box in the entire game without. No, what? No, I, I, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it at all. It's too much hassle. We will just beat the game. And I will have to deal with it myself. It's definitely one of those games where I think that if I were to try 100% it, I think I would probably lose my mind. Ah, oh, but I've, I'm so close to finishing. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't care, Crash. You suffer the consequences of the fact that I am such a shit player. You suffer. Because you suffered enough. Oh.
Right. So, lights out. So there's literally four colour gems in six levels. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the series so far. Check the descriptions below for any of the playlists that I've done. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next part. Take care.